The mission of a Navy nuclear-powered attack submarine is usually secret. But on one recent voyage, the military crew shared their cramped quarters with a team of civilian scientists. As CNN's Deborah Potter reports, the experiment led to some interesting scientific and social results. Prepare the vertical surface. A U.S. Navy submarine in the Arctic. <laughs> Missions like this have always been top secret, but the recent cruise of the USS Pargo was radically different. You want the bucket of bottles too? It was the first time a U.S. nuclear submarine has ever been used for an unclassified scientific mission. The Navy has shared scientific data with academic researchers before, but this time five civilian scientists were on board to explore the Arctic Ocean in ways only a submarine can. It can travel under the pack ice during any time of the year, and that's important to us as far as getting the seasonal data, and, uh, and it does it with great speed and great precision. For 20 days this summer, the scientific team made observations and collected water samples in areas of the frozen Arctic that could not have been reached by surface ship. They installed special buoys with sensors to measure water temperature and salinity, which should work for about three years, feeding back data by satellite that researchers will use to study climate change. There's a lot of thought that uh, one of the signatures of global warming is a decrease in the salinity of the upper ocean. As important as the science was the social experiment aboard the Pargo, what one planner called a blind date between the Navy and the civilians who weren't used to submarine life. The first feeling that I had was the limitations of space. They were severe. Um, equipment was everywhere. Space just for moving around was uh, severely limited. One of the biggest um, difficulties was getting out of the way when the ship had to go through its normal uh, evolutions. They had some adjustment to do, there's no doubt about that. But we didn't have too much adjusting to do for them. We had the depth and speed restrictions to make sure the data collected could be unclassified. So we, uh, during the science collection, we limited our depth to less than 400 feet and speeds to less than 20 knots. By all accounts, the mission was a success. Samples are now being analyzed by oceanographers. The results so far are good. And the future? Would I do it again? I certainly would. I had a, it was fun. It opens up possibilities for logistical support and collaboration which weren't there before. Before the cruise of the Pargo, in fact, the Navy said its mission could be a one-shot deal. Now officials here at the Pentagon say they're working on the next step, making a Navy submarine available for more civilian Arctic research beginning in 1995. All stop, it is a peace dividend the scientific community can hardly wait to cash in to continue its research underneath the top of the world.